me, 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 me. You, 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 you. Us, 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 us. Together. Tradition. Tradition. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie, Nick and Sky here, and we're gonna go see Mumbo. Okay, so uh, continuing off where we left off, uh, that Confucius meme. This is just really, really bad because <sighs> I'm, I'm just gonna go out there and say it. Man who stand on toilet is high on pot. It's really bad, but it's true. There's also another one. Man who run, run in front of truck get tired. Man who run behind truck get exhausted. Also very bad. Extremely bad. My god. Do, 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 you, do you get the joke though? Yes. Okay. That's, that's the most important thing. You have to get the joke. I did it. Suck that, Grunty. <laughs> okay, so uh, continuing on. Chapter 12, Attack by Fire. There are five ways to attack with fire. This is literally fire, as in burning. You burn soldiers in their camp, you burn stores, you burn baggage trains, you burn arsenals and magazines, and you throw fire onto the enemy during battle. That's how you use fire. Sounds like rather effective ways to use fire. Honestly, in my opinion, I think the a better way to use fire during battle is to control enemy movements. Such as burn a forest or burn burn the edge of a forest to prevent them from going into the from retreating into the forest. Mm, that sounds pip pip cheerio ish. It honestly sounds super tactical. You know what else sounds tactical? Tac reload. No, tacticulars. Tacticular? Tacticular. Well, I think the word tactical sounds extremely tactical. Ah! Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Mama doesn't wear boots. Okay, let's see. Does he? I don't know. He's a skull. It seems like he would. You know, wait, who was... Okay, so back when uh, Deadliest Warrior was uh, popular, uh, who was it that fought Sun Tzu? Um, Vlad the Impaler. Didn't he get, like, wrecked? Sun Tzu or Vlad? Uh, Sun Tzu. He got, like, He got wrecked. wrecked. Yeah, that, that's not cool. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumbles than me. Press X to eat rumblies. Oh. You lost. And Come on. 
So yeah. Yeah, run. Fuck you. Run. And it's like he comes out and chases me. Bitches get stitches. Okay. So yeah, you need to beat um four five. You need you need to beat him three times in order to uh in order to win. Um each time it gets progressively harder. And on the last one it's almost oh shoot. Um sorry about that, cut away. Um But anyway, back to Mr. Biles uh thing I'm what's see. Uh, you need to beat him three times, each time it gets progressively harder, and the last one, it's almost impossible to beat him without the speed shoes that you get from... Gobi's Desert? Gobi's Valley? Yes. So wait, isn't Gobi the camel? Yes. Gobi. Either way, uh, found 100 notes. Actually, you just, you have eight notes now? Or eight, uh, jiggies? Yes, I need to... Beat Vial. No. I need to complete the little crocodile thing thingamawatsi, which I will return to do after I leave the level for a moment. Because I cannot finish the crocodile thing as a crocodile. Uh, don't leave the level. Why? Because then the crocodile's gonna reset. I know. I'm fully aware. But I might as well do this now while I'm the crocodile, so that way I can, uh... Oh, go through, um... Shoot. I just realized something. Yeah, you can't right now. Oh, well. You thought you were gonna get to the Cheeto page, didn't you? Yes. And next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail on that, I'll bet. I'm just doing this so I don't have to go back to Mumbo. Game. Okay. I'm just lazy. Do you know how much work it is to make it all the way back to Mumbo? and then make it out of his shack. Pain in the arse. Um, it's actually much easier because the crocodile has a little hole that you can just walk through. Ouch. You okay, brudda bro? Yeah, I found... What the fuck is this, a potato chip? Are you sure that's not a skin flake? Uh, yep, that that's is a it. potato chip. That's a chip. <laughs> In the couch. Um, and I know where that came from. God damn it, Nick. Hey, that's not. It's not my fault. It's uh, Devin's. Devin's fault. Oh yeah, Shadow. When? Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Oh wait, I backtracked all the way, so... You know what? Yeah. I'll, I'll read it later. <laughs> On my golden crocodile of death. It's a golden crotch. Or a way to be crocod. Croco. Croco. It's crocomire. Crockmire. Uh, and that's what happens when you stretch. Whoop. You sound like an old man. You sound like the old person from Three's Company. Uh, I don't even know if there's an old person in Three's Company. So, there's two and a half friends. Three's Company. Two and a half friends. Uh, two, two and a half men. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got it. Two and a half friends. I mean, who, who's the half friend? Is that is that the friend that people keep around just to shit on? Yeah. But you don't know that kind of peeper. Oh, I 
am that kind of uh, friend. So how do you feel being shit on all the time? But see, the thing is, people are usually nice about it. I mean, if they weren't nice about it, I wouldn't have a cult following. Yeah, you, you, uh... Oh, uh, where did, where'd that one go? Um, I think it went over, to, over here. To either over here or towards, uh, Big Crocodile. It's probably Big Croc. It's probably huge. It's probably big crotchodile. Crotchety mile? It's that big crotchety mile. <laughs> okay, next. That took some skills. I am totally the best banjo player ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my elite skills. Yeah, the, them elite skills. That totally man. 360 no scope uh, mouth shot. I'm. I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. You cod fanboy. Yeah, you're not gonna make that shot. Oh, uh, yeah? You're not going to make that shot. Stop! There we go, I made it. You had to spam eggs, piece of crap. Hey, how am I a piece of crap for using my three round burst? Ow. <laughs> Alright, and that concludes um, Bubble Gloop Swamp for now. As of now. Uh, As of now. When we get the speed shoes, uh, do you want to record that portion, or do you want to just uh, not back, not have to backtrack? Uh, yeah, we'll have to do it anyway. Yeah, no, we we can always just. Uh, we don't have to record it though. No, we do just to show. Just to show it. I'm doing it. All right then. Well. Uh, Against your will, I'm doing it. We'll uh, do it when we have like a little bit of time after completing a level. So uh, yeah, on to the next level. Not quite yet. Oh, that's where those things are. Yeah. It's so much easier to control this when you have a better stick. So wait, you're actually going to do this, uh, so are we going to make this episode a bit longer just so that we can get to the Cheeto page? I, no, well. I, th I think I'll, like, just, no, let's make them feel special. Alright. Besides, it's just like an extra two minutes or so. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll end it here. Um, we'll start off the next. No. Um, we'll get the. Chance. Yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. And here we are on our way to um the one thing. So yeah, that was uh, that was not fun. Actually, that was. We had to fight like three giant termites, fifteen crocodiles, and then one really huge snowman. 
Not live. It was terrible. Nick, Nick, uh, Nick uh, ended up. Uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but no, uh, Banjo used tail whip. Whoosh! Super effective. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book finders bear and bird are spell they get? We sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy. Give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code blue eggs on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove. World. Help you it will. <laughs> Hidden in lair other spell books are uh, them you should find. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Next time you see us, we'll uh, be in front of the next world. So, see you guys later. Tail whip. <laughs>